Bulls buddies, good morning and welcome to the start of another week on AC's world of Kangaroo Bulls. Oh, it's felt like a long weekend, I don't know, there's only so much football I can watch without getting totally bored. So it's good to be back talking to all you wonderful people out there. Uh, Massive thank you to everyone who has got in touch with me over the weekend and left comments on Friday's Ask Andy video. Uh, I'm trolling my way through those and hopefully I'll come up with some new uh, ideas for content over the next week or two. A um, few things that interest me, so I'll... I'll, uh, I'll I suppose it depends whether there's any bowling actually happening. Um that might be a, a key to it all, eh? Um, on, with a bit of news, actually, about that. Uh, you might remember last week I mentioned about the panel doing a special uh, Friday session. I think it was the 10th of July. Uh, yeah, 10th of July with Simon Cope, Wayne Ditchfield, Gary Ellis and Graham Wilson. Well, that is happening. Definitely happening. Half past 12 start. But also, they are starting bowling again on the panel as of... Monday, next Monday, week of Monday is 5th, is it? 4th, 5th, 6th, 6th of July, I'm rubbish with dates, 6th of July, uh, half past 12 start, uh, they've put measures in place so any spectators will have to social distance, um, but there will be bowling happening at the Red Lion Bowling Green, West Hall on 6th of July, onwards 12 30 start for more information have a look at the panel's facebook page for all the info and ins and outs and whereabouts and what have you so that's that also uh the 4th and 5th of july at i think it's ellen cricket club i haven't double checked and i should have done uh is the nhs ballathon uh, that's happening over the two days, uh, plenty of prize draws, um, I'm assuming that spectators will be welcome now, given the rules that are changing for pubs and clubs, so I would imagine you're allowed to go and buy a drink and sit around and watch, if you social distance and stay in your bubbles, of course. Uh, for more information about that, have a look for Mark Holden uh, from Halifax on Facebook, um, and he'll have all the details for you. So if you want to donate some more money to the NHS, that is another possibility for you. So, oh, thankfully I've got all that out of the way. So, guys, thanks for joining me again. Usual stuff. If you like the video, please like it. It really does help. And if you want to be part of this channel and this community, we don't have subscribers. We have Bowls Buddies. So if you want to be a Bowls Buddy, click that big red button that said subscribe and click the bell for notifications of any new content on the channel. So, this week, it's going to be a Noel Burrows week because I've had them videos for ages and I've done as much as I can with them and I want to get them on. Um, they're very interesting. Of course, it's... Uh, Super Bowl stuff, um, and the Tuesday and Thursday videos this week will be Super Bowl. Uh, the first day, uh, the Tuesday, is only quite a short clip. I've cut out the, there was a, a Willie Wood game beforehand, which is about an hour long, maybe maybe longer actually. So I've cut that out because I don't think, if, if you are interested, I'll put it up as a, as a separate video. Uh, but this is Noel Burrows in the quarter-final in 1983? 1983 or 84, I can't just remember off the top of my head because I'm rubbish, playing John Bell. Uh, now, it's not a massive amount, mate. There might only be 20 minutes, maybe slightly less, and it's more or less highlights of it. Uh, but it shows you the start and the end of the game, and it's a very, very good bit of bowling. Um and then at the end of that, there's all there's two little interview segments that Noel did with Elton Wellsby for a Granada TV sports highlight show that they put out at Christmas every year. They don't do it anymore. I think it was called Rewind 
83, for instance, if it was in 1983. So there's there's two two uh, of those. Uh, one is on a bowling green, I'm not sure where, and the other is at the Red Lion bowling green at Withington, where he was the landlord at the time. Nice little bits. Um, and if I tell you that one of them was sandwiched between a segment about Everton winning the FA Cup and the other was about Dennis Taylor, future snooker world champion, you can see just how, how highly regarded Crown Green Bowls was by Granada at the time. It really was going to be the next big sport. Not sure what happened there. Anyway, so that's Tuesday. On Thursday, it's the semis and final of the 1985 Super Bowl. Spoiler alert, it's the year he won it. All right, don't moan. Uh, so there's a semi-final. Uh, David Bryant plays Jeanette Conlon, I think she's called. And... Uh, Noel plays Willie Wood now there isn't the entire game Willie Wood game for some reason it, it got cut off and then it goes straight to the final um, where Noel plays David Bryant and the thing I liked when I watched it was playing Spot the Crowd there were loads of people in the crowd I recognised um, one bloke hasn't changed I can't believe it. Nearly, you know, nearly 40 years later, it looks exactly the same. So, uh, a little game for you to play um, while you're watching it. So, those are going to be the two new videos. New videos. Obviously, you've got this today, uh, Wednesday, Waterloo weighing. And if I seriously, I'm I'm like a monk at the minute. I'm not eating. I'm not drinking. There's none of that either. Um, uh, if I don't lose week this week, I don't know what I'm going to do. So that's Wednesday. And then Friday, uh, Ask Andy. Hopefully with a little bit of footage. I'm definitely going to go over to Eaton Park this week. All dependent on the weather. Um, I have penciled in Tuesday afternoon. So fingers crossed there's a bit of, bit of fine weather. So that is what is on the schedule. Now... I've redone the Waterloo last 16 from 1987 and I haven't done any others and I'm thinking I might not bother. My worry is that when you download these things from YouTube, everything's compressed and you lose quality um, and the, the image is very blocky and grainy and, and I don't want to just tweak these things but end up making the quality look a lot, lot worse. My only option, really, is to do it all from scratch using the original videos. And I have still got most of them, if not all of them, but it's a long, laborious job. And I'm not sure if I can be bothered, to be perfectly honest. So I might just leave everything on as it is. Um, I think with over 200 videos now, there's... there's hours and hours and hours so um, it'll certainly keep you busy in the dark winter months um, so yeah I'm not going to do any more of these um, rehashing of old videos I, I, I think it's a waste of time um, and I don't want to I, I just want to I don't want to impair the quality that's all I'm saying on it that's all I'm saying all for me putting some new titles on and maybe a Drake's Pride logo it, it doesn't seem seem worth it really uh, the other thing I've noticed or was pointed out to me that um, the 2009 All England I put on that Callum Rate won another spoiler sorry uh, the logo the Drake's Pride logo seems to be hampering viewing a little bit uh, which I totally missed when I was doing it, so I may have to re go and redo that again. Um, won't take me too long. I think sorting the scoring out will be the big, big job on that. Um, but if it's a problem, I'll, I'll sort it out. If not, I'll leave it as it is. So just leave comments if it is. Last thing. This is your last chance to get involved in the Waterloo 50-50 draw. Film at Vitti tells me they're almost up to 300, which is a 
tremendous figure and I'm glad uh, it's gone up like that because it was only on 52 when I first mentioned it to you so thank you to everyone who has signed up so far it's uh, it's a good amount and it will certainly help the Waterloo um, get up and running again let's hope fingers crossed by the time we can get bowling again properly the Waterloo is reinstated in its rightful place as the main venue of Crane Green Bowls so if you do want to just get in at the death uh, contact Phil Matt Vitti or Ricky Cochran or even Gary Ellis uh, via Facebook and they'll sort you out so I think that's all for today so I'll see you Wednesday hopefully a few pounds lighter um, so guys please stay at home and if you don't stay at home and go on the greens stay safe and I'll see you on the other side <laughs>